let's write the molecular equation, the ionic equation, and the net ionic equation for this acid-base neutralization reaction. So we know this is an acid-base neutralization reaction because this is a reaction, in this case an aqueous solution, between an acid and a base. Okay, and the characteristics of any acid-base neutralization reaction in aqueous solution is that the acid and base react to produce a salt and water. So to identify the salt, we look at what is the cation associated with the base. In this case, that's Ba2+. And then we look at what is the anion associated with the acid. Now, phosphoric acid is a triprotic acid, so it breaks up to form three protons and two additional acids in the solution. But we're just going to consider the fully ionized form of phosphoric acid, the PO43-, the phosphate ion. So we've got Ba2 plus ions interacting with PO4 3 minus ions to produce the salt in the solution. So that's Ba3 PO4 2 barium phosphate. But now let's check the solubility rules of ionic compounds to see if this is a precipitate in this reaction. So phosphates are all insoluble with soluble exceptions being compounds containing alkali metal ions and the ammonium ion. Okay, well, barium is an alkaline earth metal, so not an alkali metal or the ammonium ion. So this is a precipitate, solid. Okay, so there's the salt, and then what's also produced in an acid-base neutralization reaction is water. So there's the unbalanced molecular equation. Molecular equation is, is where all compounds are left with their full chemical formulas. Okay, but we need to balance this. Let's balance the bariums. Now let's balance the phosphates. Now let's balance the hydrogens. Six hydrogens on the left, six on the right. So let's put a six here. Okay, and that's balanced. There's the molecular equation. Now, to write the ionic equation, we just break up any compounds into ions that are strong electrolytes in the solution. So we'll start with the acid. Phosphoric acid is aqueous, but it's a weak acid. So in the ionic equation, we don't break up weak acids, weak electrolytes. Okay, now barium hydroxide is a strong electrolyte, which means it's a strong base. So we're going to break this up into ions. We've got three Ba2 pluses. We've got six OH minuses. Okay, now on the right side, this is just in the solid form. And this is just H2O. So there's the ionic equation. Now, to get the net ionic equation, we would cancel spectator ions, but there are no spectator ions. So this is also the net ionic equation. 